Hello everyone. In this video, I'm excited to share with you a strategy that will let you find rational roots of quadratic equations mentally. Let's get started. If I look at this uh, quadratic equation, 6x squared minus 7x minus 5 equal to 0. So if I'm going to compute the roots of this equation in my mind, then I'll think of factors of the product of uh, 6 and negative 5, which is negative 30, whose sum is the negative of this, which is equal to 7. So what are the factors of negative 30 whose sum is positive 7? So those are positive 10 and negative 3. So in this case, I know already that the roots are 10 over 6 and then negative 3 over 6. So where did I get the 6 here? This 6 here is just the coefficient of your x squared term. And these solutions or roots can be simplified to 5 over 3 and negative 1 half. And you can check that these are indeed the solutions of this quadratic equation. Let me explain the process step by step. So this is our quadratic equation. So it's in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. So the first step is to multiply the a and c. So that is, we take the product of 6 and negative 5 and we'll get negative 30. So this is the product of a and c. And now you think of factors of this negative 30 whose sum is the negative of this. So you take the negative of this one and that is equal to 7. So this is just the negative of the coefficient of x. So what are the factors of negative 30 whose sum is 7? They are 10 and negative 3. And after finding these appropriate factors, so we may label them as M and capital N, you can already determine the solutions of the quadratic equation. And they are what? x equals M over A where a is the coefficient of your x squared, and then n over a. So here we have 10 over 6 and negative 3 over 6, which can be simplified to 5 over 3 and negative 1 half. So to understand why these two numbers here are solutions of this equation here, you may watch my other video which talks about factoring of a trinomial of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. The link to this video is given in the information section in the upper right corner. Let's give one more example. So let's say we want to find the roots of this quadratic equation here, 12x squared plus x minus 6 equal to 0. So how do we find the roots mentally? So again, we think of factors of the product of 12 and negative 6, so that is negative 72, whose sum is the negative of the coefficient of x, so whose sum is negative 1. So what are the factors of negative 72 whose sum is negative 1? And we can easily determine those uh, factors. They are negative 9 and 8. And therefore, the solutions of this quadratic equation is negative 9 over the coefficient of x squared, which is equal to 12, and then positive 8 over the coefficient of x squared, over 12. And we can simplify this to negative 3 fourths and 2 thirds. So again, let me show the step-by-step -step process. So we're given this equation here. First step is to multiply this a and c and we'll get here negative 72 and then after that we think of factors of this product whose sum is the negative of the coefficient of x and the negative of the coefficient of x this is your negative b that is equal to negative 1 
and after finding these factors here, M and N, we can already find the solutions, which are M over the coefficient of your x squared, and then N over that coefficient. So we'll get here negative 9 over 12 and 8 over 12, and these are equal to negative 3 fourths and 2 thirds. Okay, this is the end of this video. If you enjoyed the trick that you learned in this video, please leave me a thumbs up and share this to your friends. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.